a foot, a blistering British foot that has just walked 52 heartbreak miles, all because America's President Kennedy challenged businessmen to do so and proved they were hot stuff. Britain wasn't to be outdone. Foot, 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 slogging over English roads. Foot, 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 slogging over English roads. Boots, 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 boots. Do our city gents think they can outwalk the Yanks? Of course. Certainly. Indubitably. Count me in, sir. And so a monster walk is organised. 50 miles in 20 hours, and businessmen swarm to take the challenger, London to Brighton. The pick, Pathé Pick, joins this great British effort to put the Americans back in their place, with even one cameraman walking and filming at the same time. What any American can do, the British can do blindfold. And blindly, the British mass at the starting place to prove their point. It was the middle age to a challenge to this walk from Westminster Bridge, starting on a Saturday midnight. But Westminster Bridge is jammed with every age group, pretty girls as well. Americans stationed in England sportingly join in, along with well over 800 mad dogs and Englishmen thronging the embankment, waiting for the first stroke of midnight from Big Ben. Let's face it, your casual Englishman thinks he's streets ahead before he sets out. Pay homage then to those true blue British feet that Kipling made such a song about. Foot, foot, slogging over English roads. Foot, 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 slogging over English roads. Boots, 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 moving up and down again. And no discharge in this walking. On to the coast, to Brighton. But this is no heat wave picnic, it's a cold spell foot slog. So bad by day because of company, but night brings long strings of 40,000 million boots, 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 moving up and down again. There's no discharge in this walk. There's no discharge in this walk. The Duke of Leinster, with tears that have run to form icicles in his beard, clocks in at the 13 mile checkpoint. A grand old man has made first base. Oh yes, it's a cold, cold night. A member of parliament, Biggs Davison. into the night, the Marquis of Bath plugging on through the gloom. Your well-trained English gentleman never gets out of puff. We're nearing the halfway mark and 600 challengers are still going strong. Reach this halfway house and a bronze medal is the souvenir of your wild night out. Here's the very spot to rest yourself up for a precious 10 minutes or so while you wait for the first cold light of dawn and a fresh start. Start the day right, that's what the best people say. Get on a side road for some degree of bathroom privacy and reduce the walking pace to half speed ahead. After all, some people are walking in their sleep. Seven o'clock and a long, long walk ahead. We can stick out hunger, thirst and weariness, but not, 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 not the chronic side of them. Boots, 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 sewing up and down again. There's no discharge in this walking.
office correspondence, dictating the odd letter. It's something your British businessman can take in his stride. David Copus is the name, and he keeps this up for 16 medal-winning hours and 50 miles. Down, 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 look at what's in front of you. Boots, 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 moving up and down again. There's no discharge in this war. Boys from the Pathé Cutting Rooms, filmed by our young pick cameraman, Dave Allen, who won a bronze medal for walking while he worked. Do you know something? It's getting on for lunchtime, and the sensible man could do with a snifter around about now. It's just a matter of getting things organized. Just one for the road, my dear old chap. That MP's doing well, because 40 miles out, it's tough going. 11, 6, 11, 5, 9, and 20 miles today. 4, 11, 17, 32 the day before. Boots, 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 moving up and down again. There's no discharge in this walk. <laughs> Not far now for that gold medal. And what a pity there are cheats about. Careful drivers indeed. It's simply not playing the game. 91,000 paces behind them and only 500 more to go. Come on, old chap. Three hundred and one of them walked the whole blistering way in better time than President Kennedy's younger brother. Britain had put her best foot forward and won. Amazing what you can do with your trotters if you get stuck in.